Words Read, a Mount Rainier National Park production in celebration of the National Park Service Centennial, 2016 National Park Service Centennial, the arrowhead emblem of the National Park Service Mount Rainier. Passing through an entrance arch into Mount Rainier National Park takes you into a new world. A road winds past trees, through the tall trees sunlight streams. In this park, buildings created of rough-hewn rock and natural timbers match the rugged terrain of their surroundings. Roads follow the curves of the landscape through old-growth forest and along lava ridges. Bridges span glacier-fed rivers and frame waterfalls. A stone arch bridge, a log cabin. From simple patrol cabins to grand lodges, from tunnels to bridges, rock walls and wooden arches, the park was built to celebrate the natural environment. This principle is a key component of the National Park Service rustic style of architecture. Mount Rainier National Park exists as one of the best examples of the National Park Service or NPS rustic architecture in the country. It is one of the main reasons the park is recognized as a National Historic Landmark District. The designation preserves not just the buildings and the roads, but the ideals of the past. A lodge layered over the color image, a historic black and white photograph of the same lodge surrounded by cabins. The value of building for the experience of the journey, not just to pass through. An appreciation for the natural world that extends not only into where buildings and roads were built, but also into how they were designed. Words read, designing Mount Rainier, rustic architecture of Mount Rainier National Park, a waterfall. First constructed in 1911, the Nisqually Entrance Arch stands as a literal as well as symbolic gateway to the mountain. Predating the 1916 creation of the National Park Service, the Entrance Arch with its massive rough-hewn logs helped establish the authority of the young park. Beneath the Entrance Arch, a sign reads Mount Rainier National Park. Modeled after the Nisqually Entrance, other entrances to the park also boast impressive log gateways, inviting visitors into the natural world. Flanked by trees over a road, an entrance arch. The Oscar Brown cabin at the Nisqually entrance was built in 1908 and was the first ranger station in the park. Decorated with wood tracery, the building appears relatively delicate in comparison to other park buildings. Its wood construction and low profile design represents the first signs of NPS rustic architecture style in Mount Rainier National Park. A log cabin surrounded by trees is bathed in pale sunshine. From the Nisqually entrance arch, trace the path of generations of visitors as you follow the road to Longmire. Large trees remain right at the edge of the road, left there to preserve the integrity of the forest experience. Tall trees stretch up to a clear blue sky. Sunlight pours through the branches, a lodge beneath a blanket of snow. With 58 recognized historic buildings, from the iconic administration building to simple wood cabins that house employees, Longmire remains as one of the most extensive collections of NPS rustic architecture in the country. Constructed with locally sourced boulders and wood, the buildings in Longmire blend into their forest surroundings. The Longmire Suspension Bridge, built in 1924, is the only surviving suspension bridge for vehicles remaining in the National Park Service. The bridge is still used today. Beneath the bridge, a river swirls over pebbles. The Road to Paradise was designed to guide a visitor's experience of the park. Curves in the road reveal unexpected and dramatic views of the mountain and its glacier-carved valleys. Mount Rainier, across steep slopes, a patchwork of rock and snow. Bridges over Narada and Christine Falls frame waterfalls with stone-faced arches. The arches were built without extra adornment so that the eye is drawn to the waterfalls and not to the bridges. A waterfall is framed by a stone arch bridge around a pool of water, trees and shrubs dappled in sunlight. Pullouts provide opportunities to savor the journey. Behind a curved rock wall overlooking forest, visitors stand. As the primary visitor destination in the park, buildings in the Paradise area strayed from the ideals of National Park Service rustic architecture. Instead, they borrowed from the styles of popular European mountain resorts. This so-called resort architecture is higher profile with steeply pitched roofs to shed snow and is less uniform in style from building to building. Behind a lodge, the mountain looms. Around the lodge, trees. A curve in the road reveals Mount Rainier. Across the steep slopes, a smattering of snow and ice. From Paradise, Stevens Canyon Road leads to the east side of the park 
connecting to State Routes 410 and 123. Following the standards of NPS rustic architecture, the roads were constructed to look as natural as possible. Rocks used in wall construction had to be large but variable in shape to disrupt any sort of uniform pattern. The weathered sides of the rocks were placed outwards to hide fresh cuts in the stone so that the rock walls looked as natural as the surrounding hillsides. The tops of the walls were often uneven or had crenulations to further disguise any straight lines that may catch the eye of the visitor. Alongside a road, a rock wall. Tunnels in the park were constructed in a similar design. Built in 1939, the tunnel on State Route 123 is 512 feet long with rock-clad entrance portals. Some of the stones in the portal are more than six feet wide to match the massive scale of the surrounding rock face. After construction, natural vegetation was replanted on the slopes around the tunnel entrance to help it blend into the hillside and to hide scars from the road cut. In front of the tunnel, the orange leaves of a vine maple sway gently in the breeze, a circular parking lot with a view of the mountain. At Sunrise Point, large rock capstones along the walls roughly mimic the shape of Mount Rainier. Along a curved wall, triangular shaped rock peaks. This subtle design feature reinforces the views of the many peaks visible from Sunrise Point. Beneath a bright blue sky, mountains and valleys. Opened in 1931, Sunrise was developed to provide access to the eastern slopes of the mountain. A road on the left, the mountain on the right, steep slopes. While Paradise might be the resort of the mountain, it's also disorganized in design. The park builders took a different approach with Sunrise, modeling its layout after early territorial outposts of the Pacific Northwest. Tucked in at the end of the subalpine meadows of Yakima Park, the Sunrise Stockade buildings are a tightly contained bundle, minimizing the impact on the meadows and keeping the focus on the views of the mountain. Among a smattering of trees, rustic buildings. Utilities are tucked out of sight behind the stockade fence, and the log construction returns to the values of the National Park Service rustic style. A log building, a road alongside the road, trees, a river meanders. With Paradise Road and Stevens Canyon crossing the park in the south, and State Routes 410 and 123 in the east, the park's early builders aimed to create an around-the-mountain network of park roads by constructing Carbon River Road in the north and West Side Road in the west. Over rocks, muddy water gushes. Debris flows and floods repeatedly damaged both West Side and Carbon River roads, eventually closing them to vehicles. The goal of encircling road system was abandoned. Through a meadow covered with purple, white, and red wildflowers, a path. The park founders did succeed in creating an around-the-mountain trail that came to be known as the Wonderland Trail. This impressive 93-mile route is marked by a ring of historic ranger cabins, also constructed in the style of NPS rustic architecture. A log cabin. A woman climbs up a couple of wooden steps and crosses the porch. She peers inside through a rectangular window. From the local materials used in park buildings to the carefully designed path of the road through the landscape, the ideals of harmony and enjoyment with the natural world valued by the park's creators remain in the structures they left behind. Below a stone arch bridge, a waterfall tumbles. Designated as a National Historic Landmark District, the park's buildings, roads, and developed areas are preserved and maintained so that they remain true to their original construction. A rustic building surrounded by treetops. Through this protection, future visitors will travel the same roads and paths as the first visitors to this park, lean against the same rock walls, and marvel at the same views. A view of the mountain, layered over the color image, a historic black and white photograph of visitors looking at exactly the same view. Mount Rainier, along the foothills, a blanket of trees and a lake. Across the surface of the lake, the reflection of the steep slopes of Mount Rainier. Words read music. Twinkle Twinkle Instrumental David Mumford, Surly Bonds Blue Dot Sessions, Rewound Chris Zabriskie, Brooks Kai Engel, Mockingbird Instrumental David Mumford, 2016 National Park Service Centennial, the Arrowhead Emblem of the National Park Service, Mount Rainier.